Welcome to the cottage! On the lake, there is a mini library. So we're walking there now to see what books we can find. And it's always really hilarious, the types that you can find there. This is our exercising hike. We're feeling good. It's all incline. Library. What you always find at these libraries are these kind of finds. Outlander fans. I think it lends itself. So, here is my first meal that I made, pre-made, that we're having for lunch today. It's the hot for food chickpea tuna sandwich, which is so good. I'll show you what the salad looks like now. We have our chickpea tunas. We just used the stuff that I had already pre-made and have it on the buns now. And for mine, I put mustard because I love mustard. I used my food processor to mash the chickpeas. Then I added in the other veg and ingredients into the mix and mixed it all up with the vegan mayo. And this is the lunch view that we have. So nice. We are going on a canoe ride now through the lake. Our lake is pretty small, so you can always canoe around the whole outskirts of it. And it's pretty cold. I'm regretting I didn't bring a hat. We've already completed the scariest task, which is always flipping over the canoe and praying that there aren't giant bugs inside. tip for you guys is bringing your own blanket in the canoe. Fireside hangs. And normally my cottage has a stove, but right now the power's off, so we're using the generator. So we're gonna cook our vegan mac and cheese using a fire. So, Stay tuned to know how to do that. So how we're cooking our mac and cheese without a stove or an oven or anything is we first boiled our noodles on hot coals. Ready! Ready, cabbage, cabbage. And it worked out actually really well. And so what we're gonna do next is strain it. <laughs> And then we're gonna add this butternut squash mac and cheese sauce that I made at home. I made it by blending the butternut squash roasted and all the other vegetables and ingredients in my food processor. And it was actually really easy and it tasted really good. I definitely wanted to eat all of it first as a soup because I couldn't wait to eat it. But I'm gonna link the recipe down below. It is not my recipe, but I definitely think it's good so far. <laughs> <laughs> then we transferred the noodles and sauce into this pan, the only pan that we could find at the cottage, and smushed it down a bit with the spoon. Of course, we wanted to add some panko, which is vegan, for some breadcrumbs. And then, how do you think we cooked it? We did it in the barbecue. That's right, there's some veggie dogs beside. And honestly guys, it was so good. It was like nostalgia going back to your childhood, eating all those bad processed foods, but this time it was vegan. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments what kind of food you like to cook when you're camping or cottaging. And of course, I hope you have a wonderful day. Beers ready? They didn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> Try again, higher. <laughs> This high. Too high. <laughs> Are you zoomed in? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs>